We started the Hertz One project as an experiment, as most of the projects we do. We were curious about what happens in a festival, not only for the music, but for what people feel during the festival. We had this crazy idea about a machine that was able to transform emotions into light paintings. On the 3rd, 4th and 5th of April 2015, domestic data streamers went to the NBC Music Festival in Valencia in Spain to develop a human research experiment with their new data visualization system. Hertz 1.7 We collaborated with Pep Cure, an anthropologist from Barcelona, developing a series of indicators that we could use for tracking the emotional changes of a group of people that made up the audiences. Most of the people are happy at music festivals, but we wanted to explore the different shades of happiness and the connection between them. That's why we divided the analysis into three parts. Part one, the love flow. The love flow indicator is made by crossing several different events centered around people's close behavior. Acts like kissing, embracing, or flirting in a specific site gives the final numbers that create the love flow spectrum. Part two, the mood flow. As the name indicates, the mood flow is the indicator that talks about people's mood and how it evolves. The variables here are huge, such as the distance between people, the number of alcoholic drinks on site, and the number of people laughing are just some of the several indicators of this flow. Part 3. The Music Connection This one is totally related to the music and the artists that we're playing at the moment. Things like the intensity of the ovation, the number of raised arms, and the intensity of dancing were the most important indicators for this part. We like the idea that we are surrounded by this huge amount of events and facts that we are normally unaware of and it is by making them visible that we are able to shape and change our own behavior. Part 